Hello everyone. Welcome to Edahas Pro Training and Consulting. As we have already discussed on inventory management and we started with the goods receipt and we have seen what are the different movement type we have and what are the different type of document will be generated in inventory management and what is period closing. Now we will see all these in the system directly today. So let me get into the system. Yeah. Now, so we will start with the goods receipt. So the transaction code which we use for goods receipt is MIGO, MIGO. So MIGO is the transaction code which is used for goods receipt. Like we have different, different transaction code for different, different transactions. Like for purchase order, we have ME21N for purchase equation is MA51N. So in the same way for the goods receipt, we have the transaction code MIGO, MIGO. So click on here. And here we can see the movement type. So this is what the movement type which I was discussing on. And uh, let's discuss about this movement type and then we will get into the configuration path of goods receipt and we will uh, be doing other uh, rest of the activities. So while doing goods receipt, you can see this is the screen for goods receipt. So here you will have different, different options. So if you'll click on here, you have different, different options, different, different uh, uh, activities to be done in the good in, the, in your MIGO transactions means MIGO transaction. So here you can see you can do goods received, you can return your delivery, you can do the cancellation, you can just get into the display mode, you can release the GR block stock. So we have discussed about the stock type, right? So if if you have any document or any uh, which is in GR block stock or any type of stock which you kept in GR block, that can be released by selecting this transaction then we have subsequent delivery then goods issue then transfer posting then remove from storage so we have different different activities which can be performed in micro transactions now when you are selecting based on that you have the option here so with reference to which document you are doing goods receipt you, you can do goods receipt with reference to purchase order you can do goods receipt with reference to material document you can do goods receipt with reference to inbound delivery outbound delivery transport order Reservation order means production order. And this is a purchase order which we use. Order means production order which is used by the production. Okay. Then reservation. Okay. Then JIT. So we have different, different concept in goods receipt. And here, this is our movement type. So this is, here you can see it is written initial entry of stock balance. So that means this is the movement type which is used for this. So anyway, we have not started with the five series. So let's start with the one series. So you can see this is a one series movement type. So if I'll enter one, uh, enter one, not one, and if I'll press enter, you can see the description has been changed. Okay. Because for goods receipt, this is the movement type which starts with one series. So if I'll click on here, you can see these are the movement type 101, 103, 105. Now you might be thinking, what about 102, 102, 104? Because in my uh, slide, if you have seen, there we have discussed on the movement type with 101, 103, 105. Means we have discussed on the odd movement type. What about the even movement type? So let me tell you what is that even movement type. So here we can see that. So 101 is a movement type which is used for goods receipt. So what is the description? You can see here, it's goods receipt or purchase order into warehouse or into the storage location, right? And one not will be one not two will be used for reversal because now in inventory management you cannot edit or you cannot change any document. Like we have different options uh, like in purchase requisition and purchase order in purchase in request for quotations. We have seen that once you have created any document, you can change that, right? Like for if you. Uh, want to create a purchase order, we are using the transaction code ME21. But if you want to make any changes on that, we are using ME22. Right? So we have the transaction code to change that. If suppose you entered wrong quantity, wrong uh, delivery date and all. So you can edit that once you have saved it. But or one, or once you have posted that. But in inventory management, if you want to change something, if you want to edit something, then system will not allow you to change that. So what you have to do, you have to cancel that. So that is the reason here we have this option cancellation. So once you have posted the document, you have to click on cancellation. And the moment you will cancel it, this one not two, two movement type will trigger automatically. So here you can see it is written reversal. So whatever the 
even a movement type we have one not two one not four for everything we have it is written reversal 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 all the even movement types okay so you can see these are the movement type which has used one not one one not three one not five seven like that we have the movement type till one not one six one which are related to goods receptor. 161 return for purchase order. So these are all the transactions which is related to your goods receipt. Okay. So 101 series is related to that. Right. So 101 movement type which is used for goods receipt. Next. We have seen in inventory management there are two types of documents will be generated based on the movement type it is seen. So now let's get back to the system again. And now I will show you how to do the goods receipt. So before doing the goods receipt, now it will depend how are you going to receive that. Are you doing goods receipt with reference to any, uh, with reference to purchase order or with reference to production order or in one delivery material document? It is depend. So what you need to do is you need to do the goods receipt based on the purchase order or any other transaction you need to select and you should have that proper document number. If you are selecting purchase order, you should have that purchase order number. Okay. And if you are trying to receive that material with reference to production order, means you have to select order. So now see the moment I'm selecting based on this, the movement type also will change sometimes. Okay. Now, if I'm selecting goods received and if I'm selecting, so order is related to production order. If you want to see, if you want to do goods received, with reference to inbound delivery, select inbound delivery and enter the inbound delivery number. So this is how we need to do. Now, if you are, if you'll click on goods issue. Now, suppose if I'll click on goods issue. Now, see the movement type has been changed here. It is starting with 201. So that is the difference here. So based on your movement type, whatever movement type you will select, based on that, your transaction will be done. So like that, we have. Uh, transfer posting, if I have selected transfer posting, now you can see the movement type has been changed. So based on the transaction which you are doing, the movement type will be used. Okay. Now if you we'll click on this display, system will get into the display mode of the material document or the uh, transaction which we you will be performing here. If you click on cancel, it, you will be able to see the cancellation document. So just for example, I'm just showing you the previous one if anything is available. Now you can see this is the document number which is available in the display mode. So just click on here, you will be able to see the display mode of this document. Right? So this is what you have already done. So it is in display mode. In the same way, if you want to cancel it, just click on cancel, enter the document number, press enter and you can cancel this. So this is how you need to do. Next, we will discuss on goods receipt. So uh, I will show you how can, so I will start with the purchase order. So first I will create a purchase order and with reference to that purchase order, I will show you how can we create uh, or how can we do the goods receipt. 